Watson. I feel like I always lead with that because we'll have like a really funny reaction to it. Like every time I say I'm from Wisconsin, people are either like, oh yeah, or they're like, oh, okay. Like it's really neutral. So mm -hmm. I feel like it's a big part of my personality um, because I grew up in a small place called Sheboygan. Um, I'm very comfortable around people, I think, because um, I was in the restaurants a lot when I was younger. Um, working with my parents, so now I, I think I enjoy that about here. I like the color green, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've been doing a lot of art lately. I love bunnies. I got a bunny two weeks ago. His name is Oogie, and I love him. My ideal workspace has proximity to nature, and it doesn't have to be geographical. I think it just needs to call to mind um, something natural. I, I, I know that sounds like really contrived. I think that I was born to help people communicate. And the only reason I phrase it so vaguely or I don't say something that has to do with my career is because I feel like it's kind of like overarching. I, I like acting because people go to the theater because they want to see stuff that they either can't do or that they feel that they can't say. And for me, that's communicating like with oneself. So I want to help facilitate that. I think the communication factor is, is bigger than also like being on stage, like I, I feel a connection to psychology or to analysis or, or like I like editing writing, I like, I like helping people communicate better. And it still deals with what I do every day, so I, I, I think that's like the thread. I do experience gender. It's a very good time to be asked about it because recently I started using they, them pronouns. Um, I still use she, her, I don't use he, him. I just, when I think about it, I always remember like one instance. Um, I'm actually wearing a binder right now. But when I was in high school, I was like obsessed with Captain America. I don't know. I don't know. And I, and I was super into like the guy that played Bucky Barnes and his name was Sebastian Stan. And I would like Google pictures of him and he was my screensaver. So at one point I realized, I had this really weird experience of like, I don't actually like him. Like I don't have a celebrity crush on him. I want to be him. So I, I would cry because I wasn't six feet tall and I didn't have a flat chest. And then it passed and I, and I didn't experience that feeling again for a really long time. Um, but I've noticed it creep back up, not in a menacing way, like it's just kind of trickled back into my life. And, but now there's like space for it to exist. Mm -hmm. So. I'm, I feel like I'm blooming late, but I'm feeling very comfortable. I think I'm attracted to special people occasionally. For me, here's sexuality and here's sex. I love sex. Like, I, I don't really know how else to say it. I love sex, but I never feel like I'm thinking in a binary space when I'm having sex. But my sexuality, for me, also includes like my romanticism, and that is something that is rare for me, to be truly attracted to someone mentally and physically. So I feel like right now I might say pansexual or bisexual, I know that there's some discourse around those terms. Um, I haven't really landed, but it's definitely like a complicated thing for me. I come from religion. And I'm moving towards spirituality, and I, I would like to explore the world of religion that exists for me to like discover, but I also am very suspicious of organized religion, for good reason. So I'm, I'm tentative right now. I would rather like bask in like this kind of sense of spirituality that I've found than like try to push it right now. <laughs> Wait, then like, is there anywhere I'd rather be than like UNCSA or like America? <laughs> Interpret as you please. 
I'm gonna give you one further and I'm just gonna go straight for like, I'd rather be on another like planet or something. I want to like be like a cool girl who like lives on Mars. I wish I was joking, but I think that's kind of like the goal. If I could be anywhere else right now, I'd be like the first person on Mars. That's a dumb answer. I know, I love it. But it's like, that would be my ideal self, you feel like. Yeah, just. On that pyramid of self actualization, there's like. The very top is Mars. Yeah, there's like, I start doing yoga and then I start getting up early and then it's Mars. <laughs> and then I'm hoping it'll just go from there. Yeah. Oh. My relationship with my body. I'm really happy that I can give you the answer that I'm going to give you because historically that relationship has been abusive on my behalf. I feel like I've, I've um, abused and or disrespected my body to a certain point. I was watching um, Still Here, the Bill T. Jones workshop documentary this morning and he's an incredible mover and he said something about the body that like blew my mind. This thing wants to live. And I know that that sounds really obvious, but the way he phrased it, this thing wants, like that my body might have wants, not just needs, that it's not just my mind, that my body deserves weight and respect. And I do think it's crazy that you asked me this question because kind of as of this morning, I felt something like, like if I feel like abusing my body, I can remember that this thing wants to live. So maybe I just don't. I don't know. I think that really like hit me. What do I want out of life? There are bits and pieces right now. Because I don't know if anyone really knows everything that they want, but there are some things that I want and some of those things are to keep contact with the people I love it's hard for me, but it's an effort I want to get good at. To do the things that make me happy, um, knowing that they may change and that I shouldn't punish myself for that. To honor the people who built me, to not move on too quickly, to see some of the world. And I don't know if I have anything else. <laughs> I think I'll find it.